Today, image filtering is widely used in many image processing apps. Filters such as sharpening and Gaussian blur are very popular. In addition to daily applications, image filtering also plays a big role in information transmission and avoiding residual information. In this video, I'll teach you how to use MATLAB to implement sharpening, Gaussian blur, and box filter. Firstly, I want to introduce the Gaussian filter. If you watch the previous video about edge detection, I have used the Gaussian kernel for noise removal. The Gaussian kernel is a kernel with the shape of a Gaussian curve, or you may call it normal distribution. In MATLAB, finding a Gaussian kernel is very easy. So 37 here is the size of Gaussian kernel, while the default size is 5, and 8 then the standard deviation. So now, um, I want to import our image f first. And as you may know, the most common way of using Gaussian kernel in MATLAB now is to call this function. So Imgos filter is actually the most stable way to use Gaussian kernel in MATLAB. However, I'm using this F special here to show you what Gaussian kernel actually looks like. So now let's use the sub function to see what our Gaussian kernel actually looks like. So this is our Gaussian kernel. It looks like a 3D normal distribution model. And you can also change the size and the uh, standard deviation of a Gaussian kernel. It will show different model uh, after using the serve function. So now let's apply the Gaussian kernel to our image. So this is our image after Gaussian blur. You can see everything is not very clear right now. It's because the Gaussian filter now is bring everything in this image. So we can change the result by changing the size of standard deviation of Gaussian kernel, as I mentioned before. But um, notice that it's better to keep the size of Gaussian kernel in odd number. So um, it's better to change this 37 to like 31 or 27 something or number like this. And now, let's look at the sharpening. First thing before the sharpening, I want to show you this imshow abs image minus image Gaussian. And let's run this section. Let's, let's see uh, what will happen after we minus this. You can see in the figure here, looks like an edge de detection of our original picture. An idea of sharpening I would use is to emphasize the edge of original function. Also, if you multiply things in the bracket by 2 and run this section again, you will see the edge is much more obvious. And now what we're gonna do is imsharp equal to image plus the edge of image, which is image minus image Gaussian. And let's see what the image looks like right now. Im show, Im sharp, and on this section. So if we put two images together, it may be much more obvious that this image is more clear compared to original one. So let's see Im show image and in sharp on the section you can see the left image is original one and the right one is uh after we sharpening the original image so the last kernel i want to introduce here is a box kernel if you want to define it by using matrix you will notice that it's a very simple and very funny so box kernel i'll define it like this once 31 and this is our box kernel and n by one matrix filled by ones so now we need to normalize the kernel before before we apply it box equal to box divided by sum 
So let's run this section. And you can see we already have our box kernel here. It's a 31 by 31 two dimension uh, matrix. So since our box kernel is a two dimensional matrix, uh, I would prefer to use a great image here. So um, it makes box will equal to the convolution of our gray original image rgb to gray image and apply our box color let's see what our new image looks like in box and run the section so this is our image of apply the box kernel of course we can change our box kernel change its size here like post i change 30, 31 to 7 run the section again the box kernel is 7 by 7 right now and apply the box kernel to our original image again you can see it's much more clear because the size of box kernel is smaller so in this video we talked about how to use the gaussian kernel to perform blur and sharpening also we briefly introduced the box kernel they are very useful when you want to filter an image and they are also commonly used in real life Hope this video is helpful.